and welcome to an all new Melanie's Muses where it's all TV talk all the time. New videos coming to you every Monday so if you haven't hit that subscription button yet, what are you waiting for? Click now and never miss a video. Melanie's Muses is proud to be a Telfy partner channel so whatever you are watching, including this show, make sure you check in on the app, share to social media and who knows when you'll unlock an exclusive sticker. So last week's video was all about streaming and I had a lot of feedback. So this week's video is also about streaming, but it's an international edition. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that was only a little bit international, but I only have one flag, so. I'm from England, what can I say? So after my video aired last week, it was great to see all the feedback, all the comments, people coming to my page, leaving me messages. And one thing really surprised me. I knew that streaming in America was a lot better and that we had some different options, but what I didn't realize was how different it was. Netflix, for example, is an international company. I know loads of people that watch Netflix all over the world, but we don't all get the same options. What is available for streaming over here in the US might not be available at all in other countries, and in some other countries, the shows get aired as Netflix originals. A perfect example of that is the CW show Riverdale that is over here. It's shown on Netflix a day later, so it's like a weekly episode thing, but it is listed as a Netflix original. Having done a little bit of research, I have found that that is how some of the Hulu originals work over here as well. For example, the new show Harlots, actually an ITV show, which explains why we are getting it on a weekly basis instead of a Hulu original where everything's uploaded all at once. Another big difference that really, really surprised me was Amazon Prime. Amazon is huge and is known for being an international company with various branches all over the world. But the benefits you get from Amazon are very, very specific to where you live. Obviously the US and the UK have fantastic video options, prime shipping options, all sorts of options. But outside of that, it is very specific on where you live. For example, if you're in the Netherlands, you have to order from Germany. I mean, how does that even make sense? How does that work? I guess maybe you all pay with the euro. I'm terrible. I don't really understand how all that works. See, when I was growing up over there, every country had its own currency. And if you were going from country to country to country, even though you could sort of like drive there, well, okay, you couldn't drive from England to France, but you can get on a train now and go from England to France. But as you went across and you were going across Europe, you changed your money. You went into France, you had the Franks, you went to Germany, you had the Deutschmark, etc, etc, etc. I think now everything is the Euro, so maybe that makes things a bit easier. But does it count as international shipping? How weird is that? And then of course other streaming sites just don't exist over there at all. Hulu apparently is a completely American thing. So my apologies for all the videos that uh, Hulu Hulu get Hulu. You can't! So I am going to try and make a note of that in future and check these things. Check where other countries might be able to watch the shows that I'm talking about. Obviously sometimes that's not going to be an option and if it's a show I really love, yes, I'm going to talk about it. But I am definitely going to be more aware that I have these fantastic international viewers and streaming is different for you guys. As a follow-up, I sort of did a little asking around to see how people outside of the US watch US shows because I know a lot of people do and I know a lot of people are up to date. There was a lot of talk about using a VPN. Now, I use a VPN for security measures. I also use it for watching some UK TV that is not available through my fantastic Acorn TV app. Partly because I was born and raised on UK shows and I need my UK show fix. And although Netflix, etc., is fantastic for those kind of things, PBS as well shows a lot of them. I don't like to wait, I like to watch them when they are on. Broadchurch, for example, is airing right now in the UK and there are so many spoilers, a lot of which would come from my mom. By the way, she is the worst person in the world for spoilers and does not understand the word, don't tell me I haven't seen them yet. And so I try to catch them pretty quickly on demand and I use a VPN for that. VPNs are also good for security, for hiding what sites you might be going to and stopping spyware things, etc. 
But how many people really know about them? How many people over there use them? Do you use them regularly? Is that how you watch a lot of the US shows? I'd love to hear how you guys catch up and keep up with US TV. I know some of you are just like, we have to wait and we wait and we wait and we hope that Netflix or one of our stations pick it up. But I also know from the comments that some of you guys are watching them. So tell me how. Okay, I think that's about it for this week. I want to say a huge thank you to all my international viewers and a huge thank you to my US viewers. Hopefully this might have been educational for you guys. We definitely take for granted, I think sometimes, how accessible things are. Of course we have to pay, but we do have very, very easy access to a tremendous amount of TV options. Thank you so much for watching and as always be sure to do all the YouTube things like comment and subscribe, check in on Telby, unlock those stickers and I will see you back here next week for an all new Melanie's Muses. Bye!